All right, I'm recording now. Good. All right, guys, so one little uh, option I really love to do, I've been doing it for a long time. From side control, whenever he shoots like on the hook, but early enough, I could, I could stop it so that he's not, he's not too deep yet. And so as soon as he shoots his underhook, my head is gonna come more close to his hip and he's gonna lose the, the power of his underhook, okay? And at the same time, I'm gonna get my hand, not really like a wizard, but just grabbing inside his biceps here. And this, this totally blocks the underhook, there's no underhook here. So from here, there's gonna be not too much he, he's gonna do, but usually, most of the time he's gonna try to take off his arm to put it back, maybe to frame, right? And so here, there's a very, very good option. Once it's here, I can come over and either I wait for him to take off his hand and I catch wrist lock, it's very strong wrist lock, or I force it myself by just getting everything blocked, coming forward, and once, once I come forward, I release a bit my body, so I come on top of his hand, here, I come forward, and you see, it's my, my body is wrist-locking him, right. it's, it's very strong wrist lock. There's a lot of control there, There's, he can't get his hand, even he explodes and stuff, you see, he needs to get his, his uh, elbow out, so I'm blocking his elbow, I'm blocking everything, I'm coming forward, and if I feel that when I come forward, yeah, the hand is still behind, so it means I need to go up and forward. If I can, I will slide this forearm towards his wrist a little bit. I come up and I catch him. All right, boss.